Alright guys, so I'm going to be reviewing the Sword Freightliner Sentry Class in Great Lakes Power. Overall, um, to be honest, I find this one to be the best looking Freightliner tractor, although there are some other very good ones out here. Now, a reason why I'm choosing this one to put first on my channel, if you're watching this when it gets uploaded first, is because, like I said, I feel that this one is the, the best looking one out there. Now, to start off, the tractor itself sells for 80 bucks, which isn't too bad. And um, I'm very unsure if you could get this with a trailer. I believe if you get it with a trailer, you could get it for around 150 bucks, which is fair. Um, a little pricey when you first get the when you first buy it, but once you get it in your hands, you can see why um, it's pretty much worth it. Now to start off here, I'm gonna start off with the front of the tractor. And uh, it's it's just overall just a great looking truck. Now uh, to start off here, you can see the Sword 06 license plate, and that's because the model was made in 2006. Has the grill, which is going to be hard to show, but it is etched through, as you can see, which does show a lot of quality. You also have uh, your headlights fog lights and uh, turning signals and one thing I want to point out that aren't on too many of the other versions of these uh, it has the mirrors over here which is very cool I like that a lot it gives the truck a very nice look coming around the side you can see the decals right here and one thing I want to say too are the decals make this model very nice and I think that's why it, it probably is my favorite overall Coming on the top of the hood, you can see the little handle here that you would use to pull it open. And while we're on the subject of that, the hood does open to reveal the engine. And the engine looks extremely detailed. Um, for something that I normally don't keep open, because to be honest, I it really doesn't matter to me if the engine is detailed or not. Um, but regardless, if someone does want to see, it is very detailed. You can see the fan right there, top of the block, and over here. I mean, it's just overall really nice, especially for something that is closed half the time. Now, while we're on this side, I'll show you the turning. And when you turn the wheel in the front, if you hear it, it clicks into position, and it has three positions. You could turn left, you could go straight, or you could turn right. And the good thing about it is that it won't hit the, the, the wheel well. So, like other sword models, if you are familiar with them, they will hit the wheel well. This one doesn't, and I like that a lot. And I like how it clicks into position as well, and it has a great turning radius. And it also rolls very smoothly. Coming around to this side... You can see all the decaling looks super, super nice. And to get a close up, over here, you can see this diamond plate down here is actually textured. So if you rub your finger against it, you will feel, you know, your finger catch on to it, which is pretty crazy, especially for a scale model. And it runs around the back and over the back, but we'll get to that later on. The door over here opens, and I found the best way to to open it is to just pull on the mirror because I glue my mirrors in. You want to watch when you glue the mirrors with crazy glue because it will wipe the windows up. But if you open them, you will see that there's a seat there. And what's crazy about it is that the seat actually has suspension in it and that's just crazy I found that very cool um, and to give it away up here you could also open up the top of the truck and you're probably wondering well why would you wanna you know open up the top and the reason being and another thing is it also will click in so it won't fall out the reason being is that once you open up the top and this is probably my the coolest function I guess you could say about it is once you open up the top you could see the inside and the inside has a bed and it has these columns which I guess would be like uh, you know like maybe a sink or whatever I'm not too familiar with it 
And what's even more crazy is, I know it's hard to tell because it's all black, but the floor on the inside there is felt, so I guess it represents carpet. And that, that just goes over the top, that's just crazy. And if we look over here, you could see the dashboard and uh, the seats and whatnot, everything you would have up there. And that folds down. I think that, that's just crazy in itself. Now readjusting the camera and bringing it down. Go to the back end of the truck. And if we look up top here, you can see it has the GPS up top. And on the other side you have the exhaust stack. A very cool thing that they did was add a headache rack on the back. And I say this because I guess this truck is meant as a heavy hauler. In my eyes, I would picture this truck as something that would haul a dry van trailer cross country. But there are times, and I'm sure you have seen them as well, and I see them too, that around where I live, you will see these with a headache rack. And right off the bat, you know that it's a long haul, a heavy hauler. Um, and they are just cool to see. Now, besides the fact that... The headache rack has uh, chains and they even have the binders, which is cool, but they don't move. And the model also comes with the airlines, the brake lines, and the electric lines. Uh, I'm not sure which color is which, so sorry about that. But a very cool thing that I want to say is that if you look right here, you could actually fit them in there. And uh, it's hard to do because I want to show you, do, I want to show it happening without getting my fingers in there and that's how they go I don't use it because to be honest they're not a perfect fit and they don't always stay in and sometimes you'll put them in and a second later they'll fall back out um, but overall a very nice feature especially because if these uh, little springs or wiring go into the other ones they'll never come out and if you try to stretch them they'll unstretch and it's just a mess so to, to me, it's just best to keep them like that and make sure that they don't touch. And if you look at them, you can see that they are flexible. And I don't want to bend it, but I'll show you it for the review. You see that they do stretch. You don't want to stretch it too much. Anyway, you can see the diamond plate is right there. And coming to the back of the truck. Now, a very cool feature that I like is that the fifth wheel is positional. So you could bring it all the way back I guess only goes to right there it should go all the way back or you could pull it all the way forward and it is loaded on a spring another very nice feature is the fifth wheel locking mechanism now this is something that has broken on my past models but I can't say that it's not nice if you see the little tab right here that is for that and if you see me release it, it'll lock it in, and that's what will hold the trailer in. It's a very nice feature. It has broken on my past models, so I just want to get that out there. But overall, a great feature. Another um, not-so-good thing about it is that sometimes it's hard to get to, so you probably would want to use this pick. But overall, it's a, it's a great, great feature. I like it a lot. Another cool thing is the suspension on this. And for some odd reason, maybe my model is bent, but if you look... That's not supposed to roll like that. It's supposed to be on the ground. But uh, the suspension is very nice. And if we look at it on the back right here, there it is. And on the front, there it is as well. Looking underneath the model, you can see very nice. You have your uh, diesel tanks right here, um, air chambers and drive shaft. Uh, nothing crazy, but I don't think it's, someone's going to display this model upside down. So overall, as you could tell, just a really great model, and I'm glad that I have one. I've, I've actually, you know, thought about buying another one, but I have, this is probably my 7th or 8th one, so that's the only thing stopping me. But overall, a great library, definitely get it. They are coming hard to come by nowadays, I guess, because they're just getting sold, as you could see from the plate 2006, but overall, just a great, great model, and definitely don't miss out on them.